Hi there folks, Peter back again to give you a further preview on uh, our Chelsea preparation. Um, we are on, today is Wednesday, the truck has actually left now with all of the main materials, um, all of the plants for the exhibit, well not all of the plants for the exhibit, most of them. Uh, we've got a, quite a lot actually, probably more than we'll need but yeah it'll be good to have plenty to choose from uh, of course now that um, now that most of the plants have gone everywhere is looking uh, pretty pretty empty uh, what's left of those that didn't kind of make it really uh, this was the main Chelsea show plant tunnel um, th these ones here they'll be for Chatsworth uh, so they're just in here for the shade um, let me show you the other areas um, and what what else we've got going on oh here um, green passion green passion this is the plant we have prepared to go on the Chelsea plant of the year competition uh, so here's Green Passion, uh, yeah, uh, stunning, go away, look at that, absolutely marvellous, I hope this is in focus, I can't see it up there, um, yeah, we've been so impressed with this plant, um, sorry about the untidy uh, everything else, <laughs> we haven't tidied up yet, um, yeah, so this is looking really good, that'll be going on the plant of the year competition. I'll show you Tega as well in a minute. That's also going to go on. Uh, so in the hot house here, not not a lot really to show you in here to be honest. The ones we need for Chelsea have already gone. Uh, so it's a little bit thinner in here than it was all all the all around the edge here with the the ones for Chelsea and the same this side. All the ones we wanted for Chelsea uh, were all around here. They've all gone of course. Um, the tallest plants uh, typically being the first ones we put on uh, onto the exhibit so they go up on the shed and what have you um, yeah so they've already disappeared so there's a few uh, here's that one that's happy birthday yeah lovely lovely Clomatus happy birthday so these will be for Chatsworth um, yes I don't really know why I came in here because there's no Chelsea ones to show you um, okay let's go across here uh, into the gherkin there's some um, some plants in here that are going to Chelsea here we are all these folks down here look Jeannie's pink now of course with the warm spring <laughs> we had to slow a lot of plants down so they didn't flower too early so we put them in the shade and um, here we are Jeannie's pink was put into the shade uh, we've got Genie's green instead. It's gone. Uh, it's just green. It hasn't coloured up. These ones have coloured a bit. We brought them out about uh, six days ago into here to get more light and to, to get more colour into the flower, but it hasn't worked, sadly. So the flowering at exactly the right time, we got the timing perfect, but because we had to hold them back in the shade, um, they just don't have the colour that we need, so that's a shame. Um, Chelsea, a superb plant to go on the Chelsea exhibit. The Clematis Chelsea by Raymond Everson. It's a lovely little free flowering one. This is lovely. This is called this is called Kinju Atarashi. It starts off this beautiful lilac pink, and then it, it matures down to here. Can you see that? Look at that. Kinju Atarashi. Wonderful Clematis. Uh, flowers twice as well. Or Jeannie's pink, she's not going to go. Look at this lot. This though, Crystal Fountain are looking really good. Ivan Olsen, um, we do love Ivan Olsen. Look at that. Oh, that wasn't a bit marked there. Just a bit of a mark on the leaf. Don't worry, we'll, we'll hide that up. <laughs> yeah, but looking really, really good. Look at the size of those flowers. I mean, literally uh, the size of my hand. Huge. Mind you, I've got small hands. Anyway, um, the First Lady. Yeah, we love that superb plant. Now look at this. Uh, this is um, Innocent Glance. Innocent Glance from uh, Stepan Maszynski in Poland. Uh, absolutely stunning. You get these these kind of uh, semi-double heads and double heads and single heads. Uh, you get those all, all at the same time. 
um, yeah, looking really, really spectacular. These are going to look fantastic on the display. Obviously, here they're all, um, you know, we, we've got them sort of stacked into trays uh, to transport them. So there, there's a second layer here. Look, um, these will be obviously single layer when they go on the display. Uh, Mrs. N. Thompson's not going to go. She's uh, it's not enough of them, uh, not enough of them to, to make a good display. Um, and here we got here, yeah, so this is uh, Snow Queen. Yeah, Snow Queen with a good bit of colour to her this spring. With the weather, they've got quite good colour in them, nice, um, nice dark stems in the centre. Can I get a good close-up? Look at those! Isn't that fantastic? I just love this. And again, that that flowers again later in the year. So what are we now? We're uh, middle of May. Um, yeah, and this is uh, Piccadilly. I love Piccadilly. I had this in two big pots uh, at home in full sun, right in front of my garage. Though looked absolutely spectacular. Look at it when it first comes out here. Like almost a kind of plum. Uh, but so velvety. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up just what a wonderful sheen there is on the. Look at that. I think. I hope you're getting that. That's 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 a fantastic sheen. Look, I don't really want to do that to my show plants, do I? I might damage them. <laughs> there we are, Parisienne. It's been around for years, but wow, it's a fantastic Everson clematis. Beautifully free flowering. Look at all that. That's on a, a three litre pot, a three year old plant. Yeah, looking really good. Fleury is another one of Everson's. Um, we use a lot of Raymond Everson's clematis uh, for filling in around the base of the others. Um, they're really good, free flowering. That's a nice leaf. Um, really free flowering clematis, very, very good for low, low cover. Um, yeah, filling in all the gaps. It's not quite fully open yet, you see. The flower hasn't fully formed. That's fine, because it means when they get there, um, they will still be really fresh. This is Solidarnosht. Solidarnosht. Uh, another wonderful uh, Stefan Machinsky bread clematis. Very, very rich red. Uh, you've got these tiny little white markings in the flower that's quite normal uh, very very pretty indeed um, yeah nice that's gonna be a really spectacular display once we've got that lot look at that that's one tray of uh, maybe uh, 12 12 plants there that's gonna make a huge display there's all the praycocks the little short filling in ones all gonna go around and Fill in the gaps, hide up the pots. Uh, what else? Oh, Tiger, 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 Tiger. Look at this. Look at this. So, Tiger, I showed you in the previous um, um, video. Uh, look at that. Exquisite. And that's um, obviously it's the bird. And then, how does it go from, from the bird? It then goes to a flower like this. Look at that wonderful and then to this and then once this is finished uh the flower it drops drops these large outer tepals and then then you get look the the boss in the middle it opens out into many layers many many layers look at that this one's just about to drop these outer petals and the center is is wow it's absolutely Wow, there's, there's no other word for it. Um, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Let me just show you. That is the plant that we're taking for the plant of the year competition. Uh, it's in a big pot. And we've made a bamboo support there and just woven those in. It, it's got, it, we have a little more work to do to that yet, just to uh, even the stems out, just to make it a little neater. Um, yeah, but it's just spectacular. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. <sighs> Lovely. Okay. Uh, Rebecca. I think everyone knows Rebecca. <laughs> another, another stunning Everson uh, clematis. 
another one with that fantastic sheen to the flower um, give it a tint there you are you see it's got a wonderful sheen as the light goes on it at different angles yeah stunning there we are. look at that beautiful fresh flowers so a nice fresh flower like this transports much more easily uh, it doesn't get damaged there we are. Um, one or two of these Jack Manii Purpuria will go to Chelsea. Uh, they're going to be used on one of the obelisks, I think, so um, that, that will go later uh, on Friday. Uh, when I get down... Oh, love it. Yeah, Jack Manii Purpuria. I think one of the most underrated uh, Jack Manii's. It really is a cracker of a plant okay it just whizz up to the end here to the shade area uh sorry it's a bit joggly jiggling around all over the place don't look at the mess ignore the mess okay here we go green passion these are the plants that are going on the exhibit so um the plant i showed you earlier was just the one for the um plant of the year competition there's still some short plants in here um, for the shade. These these little short ones, um, th these little short ones here, they'll be for Chatsworth. These are just here for the shade. There's several trays of plants here. Look at Mrs. Chomley. Wow, massive. Okay, more Mrs. Chomley. Uh, what else we got? The bride. My nanny. Dorothy Tolliver, so she'll be going. Uh, Gillian Blades. Yeah, lovely display of them. Tay looking great. Liberty, I showed you before, which I'm totally in love with. It is wonderful. And uh, yeah, Fuyu no Tabby. Fuyu no Tabby. Well, there we are. I mean, there's a lot more there. Look for the Chatsworth show. Uh, but we'll show you a bit more of those at another date. Anyway, I hope that was a, a, a nice uh, follow-up to the Chelsea preview. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, I'll be doing a bit more for you once I get down to the show. Um, we've got a couple more days of catching up here um, and some press and PR stuff to put together and uh, once we've got that done I'll be heading down to Chelsea and I'll bring you some more footage and pictures from the show okay thanks then bye